Hello class, welcome to today's math lesson. I'm so very glad that you're here to practice math with me today. Today our learning goal is to draw pictures for some and some more math problems and some and some went away math problems. Hmm, we've acted them out before, but sometimes we can't act them out. So drawing is a fun way to practice them. So let's say that we caught two fish. Hmm. It might be hard to act that out. So we could draw it and say we caught two fish. And then our friend caught one more fish. Two plus one fish equals three fish. Hmm. If we were to write this in a number sentence, we could say two plus one equals three. But I'm not going to end it there. I'm going to say three what? Because it was three fish. And I am going to make sure that I label my answer. And I know what the three was. Well, let's try this again. I'm going to erase the board with my handy dandy eraser. What if we caught five fish? One, two, three, four, five. When we're drawing pictures for our math questions, they don't have to be perfect pictures. We don't want it to take too long. We just want to be able to draw something that will help us understand. So my fish don't look like great fish. Maybe if I gave them like some scales or something and a little eye, it might help. Maybe. If we had five fish, but then two of them jumped out of the bucket and went right back into the water, how many fish would I have? Did you notice that this was a sum and sum went away question? I had five, but then how many went away? Two went away. Five take away two equals three. But three what? You're right, it was three fish. Remember to always label your sum and sum went away questions so we know what it was. Hmm, I'm going to use my handy dandy eraser again. And we are going to try another question. What if three children went swimming? One, two, three children went swimming and then three more friends came to go swimming with them. One, two, three. Hmm. I had three friends and then three more came. So this is a sum and some more question. Three plus three equals, well this one's easy, it's one of our doubles facts. What's three plus three? Yes, it is six. Six what though? Is it six fish? No, it's six children. I am going to label my question so that I know what the six means. It means six children went swimming. All right, got my handy dandy eraser again. All right, hmm, what if there were four ducks swimming by? Hmm, maybe I should have chosen something easier than a duck to draw. Okay, there's one little duck. One, 
two, three. Maybe if I give them a wing and an eye, it will be helpful. One, two, three. Oh, I need one more. Four. I have four ducks. So I can put down a four in my question. I had four ducks, but then I didn't notice there were three little baby ducklings right behind them. So one, two, three, hmm, four plus three equals how many ducks? That's seven ducks. I'm going to write down my label so that I know that it's not just the number seven, but that it's seven ducks. Hmm, I am going to erase this sum and some more question, and we're gonna try one more. Hmm, in our leg, we have a lot of loons. A loon is a type of water bird. So I'm gonna try to draw two loons. We had two loons. And I tried to get a picture of them. But do you know what they did? They both dove under the water. And so I couldn't get my picture. So if we were to write this question, we would write down two but would we add or would we take away? This is a subtraction or a sum and sum went away question. So we're gonna take away two. Two, take away two equals? You're right, it's zero, zero loons. Oh class, I am so glad that you came today to practice math with me. I hope that you have some fun drawing some, and some went away, and some, and some more questions. Remember to always label your answer so that we know what the number means. I hope that you have a wonderful day drawing and playing with math. Have a great day class. Bye-bye!